Being immortal in Minecraft has its benefits. I mean, you can never die after all. But after a lot of thinking, I think I'd like to become mortal again. But I can only do that if you help get this video to 5,000 likes right now. Ugh, I'm starting to get tired of being immortal. I mean, I can never die. Look at my hearts, they're all blue and immortal themed. And everything I touch just breaks immediately like I'm in creative. I have ultimate strength so I can kill villagers in like one hit. I'm so sorry, but I'm starting to get get tired of these powers and I just can't die. Freezer, I'm tired of this. Wait, Samantha, what do you mean? What's going on? I want to date a normal person, not someone immortal. I can't help it. I was born this way. We're through until you can figure out a way to fix this. What? No, Samantha. <laughs> Life sucks, man. So you regret becoming an immortal being? They always do. I'll tell you how to lose your hearts if you dare to embark on this journey. Wait, really? My girlfriend just broke up with me. I would love this. Please, turn me back to a mortal, normal being. First, you must take lava damage. <gasps> okay, sure. If I just hop into a pool of lava, then all of this will be fixed? That'll be easy. I can find a pool very quickly, and I can jump off hills. I'll never die. And here we are. Sweet, sweet lava. Finally. And we hey, wait, what? No, 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 no. That overlord guy said this would kill me. Uh, he lied. Yeah, it's not gonna be that easy. Why not? What have I ever done to you? Go make the inferno striders. You got mail. Oh, a new recipe was just unlocked. <gasps> Let me make a crafting table and check my recipe book. Inferno striders. It requires two lava buckets and two iron boots. And maybe with these, I'll be able to finally die. All right, let me use my superhuman strength to dig down into a cave. Grab a bunch of iron, thank you. And make a couple pairs of iron boots as well as a couple of buckets. And finally fill those buckets right up with lava to create the Inferno Striders. Here we go. Now if I put these on and then I jump into lava, will I die now? Let's find out. Whoa! What is going on? Okay, am I gonna die? Are you serious? I still did not die. Hey you, you lied to me. Ha, you were tricked again. Okay, here's the next craft to help remove your immortal hearts. Okay, I got another recipe. How can I possibly trust this guy now? It's a lava surfboard and to make it is, oh, actually very easy. Give me some of that redstone. And let's try this again. Lava surfboard. Okay, what does this even do? All right, I can actually ride it and stuff. What happens if I ride it into the lava? Whoa, what is going on? There's like rings all around me. Oh, what? What's happening? Oh, wait a second. Oh, immortal heart lost. Oh, okay. I finally actually just lost one of my 10 immortal hearts. It's now a regular heart. So that demon guy was right. Wait, but I want to lose all of these immortal hearts. Hello? Oh, sir. Oh, now I have to take fall damage. Okay. Well, with all the caving I've done, I've got just enough blocks to pretty much, well, go all the way to the sky limit. I do not expect to die from this, but maybe he has made it so I'll lose at least an immortal heart. Go, Grazer, here we go! Okay, well, that wasn't surprising at all. What do I do? Thought it would be that easy again? Well, that's what you told me to do. Silly Grazer, you will need the Comet Thruster in order to actually die to fall damage. Okay, well, he's unlocked a new recipe. To make this Comet Thruster, I'll need just a bit of iron and some redstone. That's actually not too difficult. And this looks like some sort of jetpack or something. How high am I gonna have to go? More iron! Must create Comet Thruster! And now, with this new item, if I equip it, it is literally a jetpack. And if I use it, do I just go, whoa! I go so high in the air. I guess for an immortal being like me, I have to go like literally thousands of blocks into the air in order to lose an immortal heart. And crash! Dude, 
That was insane. Immortal heart loss. Okay, so I have to die in like the craziest of ways. And now I have lost two of my immortal hearts. I'm eight away from getting Samantha back, which I really would like. So please, immortal being, how must I take damage this time? Lightning damage. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really storming out. Okay, all right. I guess the immortal being has the power to change the weather. And now I need to go out there and get struck. Let me just hang around an area where there's no trees or any of the sort. Go away, you stupid mobs. I don't want you here. Oh, dude, a lightning just struck. It was pretty much on me. It's hard enough trying to get rid of all of these mobs that are beneath me. And then there's spiders and creepers and everything. Oh, jeez Louise. I just got struck. Okay, well, that did not work. You are very gullible, Grazer. What is this, a game to you? I just want my life and my girlfriend back. Now you must create the Zeus Thunderbolt in order to die. Oh, another new recipe. Go figure. Oh, and he's gotten rid of the rain, so I guess we no longer need actual lightning. Let's see, a Zeus Thunderbolt requires Lapis and a Zeus Nether Star? Uh, Mr. Overlord, I don't have the resources to go into the nether and get a Zeus Nether Star. I don't know how you want this to play out, to be honest. Whoa, what the? What is this? But he just built a Zeus Wither in front of me. Wait, you want me to put that last slot on? Oh gosh, a Zeus Wither Skeleton Skull. Oh my goodness, it's an actual Zeus Wither. How do I kill this thing? Oh gosh, I can use my super strength to bring it down to force. Oh gosh, this is bad. Well, I am immortal, I literally can't die. Eventually. Okay, that was not too hard. And there's our Zeus Nether Star, and he dropped a Zeus Wither Skeleton Head. I'll take that. And we'll go down and grab some Lapis Lazuli. Geez, I never thought I would actually need this stuff, but here it is. I'll grab it all. And if I go into my crafting table, put the Zeus Nether Star in the middle and surround it with that Lapis, we get the Zeus Thunderbolt. <laughs> Wait a second, so what does this thing even do? Oh, okay. All right, this is super powerful. It destroys everything in front of it and it's dropping tons and tons of obsidian. Holy smokes. And we're unlocking all kinds of new recipes, including reinforced glass. What do I do with this stuff? I need a normal piece of glass. Give me the sand. We'll quickly smelt it up and we will grab ourselves this reinforced stuff. I don't even know what this is. Does this... <gasps> Does this reinforce the lightning? Hold on, if I use this lightning on myself, I can't, it doesn't work. Huh, what if I put this glass in the air and then I try to shoot the glass? Oh, jeez Louise! Well, that'll work, and that's an immortal heart loss. So now I'm left with only seven, which means I'm reaching closer and closer to mortality and my girlfriend back. So, Mr. Overlord, what next? Nether mob damage? Well, that's very convenient that I just got a bunch of obsidian from the Zeus Thunderbolt that I can use to make a portal to go directly into the nether. Wait a second, I don't trust this. Why would I trust anything you tell me at this point? Ha, <laughs> all right, Grazer, since you've smartened up, I'll give it to you. But first, we have to go to the nether. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll go to the dang nether. Golly, I haven't been in here in so long. It's so spooky. To be able to receive nether mob damage, you'll need to jump straight into the lava. What? Ooh, a new recipe just unlocked, but he wants me to jump right into the nether lava? Okay, that's not gonna be hard to find. Well, look at this, from a high place and into the lava. Let's go, baby, Whee! Whoa, what the, whoa, this isn't the bottom of lava. <gasps> Wait a second, I can't break out. My immortal powers don't break bedrock. How the heck do I get out of this thing? Wait, let me check the recipe that it unlocked. <gasps> An obsidian pickaxe. And I have the obsidian required to make it. I can make four of them. Okay, I will do that. And if I use this, okay, this will break the bedrock for me. And it looks like I'm now above the lava. So once again, the stupid overlord is lying to me. What the heck was that for, man? Ha, <laughs> I'm sorry, Grazer. Here's the real recipe. Now the real recipe is a cursed potion, which needs a bunch of quartz and wart and blaze powder, which I guess not all very difficult to find. Give me all this. 
And here's a fortress. If I'm not mistaken, the ward should be right here. Give me all this. And goodbye, Blaze. I'm immortal after all. So now I can create four of these cursed potions. Okay, then. Use that to curse four nether mobs, then you'll get what you want. Okay, so I need to curse four, I guess, different nether mobs? Hello, Wither Skeleton. Take my potion! Ah! Dude, I have like an extra large Wither Skeleton boss on my side now, dude. He looks sick! Wait, what happens if I do the same thing to a Blaze? Oh! He just turned into an awesome Blaze! Okay, so now I have two of the four. Let's see, there's a piglin right here. Oh, dude, he's an awesome piglin! And I'm assuming the last one is probably an Enderman, and it is, and it is a weird, scary looking Enderman, dude. What is that thing? All right, now I have all of these four weird looking mobs. What do I do with them? Do I just get them to attack me? Hey guys, attack! Oh gosh, they're coming after me and I just lost an immortal heart. Okay, that actually worked. Okay, now I don't actually want to mess with these guys. These, uh, they're way too scary. I am out of here. What is the next piece of damage I must take, sir? Sweet berries? That's like the lamest one yet. Yes, but immortals are afraid of anything bright and colorful like the bushes. I mean, I guess. But you're right. You'll have to create an upgraded version of the sweet berry bushes. And there's the new recipe, so I have to create that, which requires that I get a fern. That's like not hard. I just need to get the heck out of the nether. So hold on. Let me go ahead and create some shears. Let me quickly bone meal this. Is this a fern? Yeah, that's a fern. I've never been so happy to have found a fern. Now I have an iron bush, baby. Look at this thing. Wow. Okay, here are some natural sweet berry bushes. If I place this beside one of these, these, what happens? What in the world? Okay, well, it didn't take any of my immortal hearts, so that didn't even work. It's just being very annoying, actually. What the heck? Get the heck out of here. Uh, that didn't go as planned. I thought it would for sure do damage to you. Well, it didn't. Hmm. Let me make you something else. Oh, brother, what now? An iron spike? I need the sweet berry bush with a bunch of iron, which I have, so wait a second. I'm already in the biome that has berry bushes. Just bone meal some of these, grab them off. Jump onto it from a high distance. Well, okay. I guess I could put the iron spike here and then use my jetpack to go all the way up. And then I guess I'll just fall onto the iron spike here. Oh! Holy smokes! Well, that'll do the trick! The next one is anvil damage? Who's gonna drop the anvil on me? Me, idiot. Oh gosh, here we go! Oh, the anvil is literally bouncing off my head. I knew this would be a prank. I thought because he was doing it this time, it would actually work, but of course it doesn't. Fall to the ground, you stupid anvil. You need to make it a thousand pound weighted anvil. Golly, and that means I need a bunch of dumbbells. Where the heck am I gonna get those? Wait a sec, is that a gym? You know where you'll find dumbbells. Please have some inside of this gym. There they are. Okay, I don't wanna like ruin the gym too much, but it does look pretty abandoned. So I'll just grab these, create the a thousand pound weighted anvil. And uh, well, let's try this again. Here it comes, a thousand pound anvil. Oh, geez Louise. Oh my gosh. I only have four immortal hearts remaining. So how am I losing the remainder of these hearts, Overlord? Also, watch your step, by the way. Bob damage? Um, you think a creeper is going to do damage to me or a skeleton? <laughs> yes, you're correct in that assumption. This time, I'll give you a head harvester and you'll need to collect the following mob's heads. You'll need to collect three zombie, creeper, and skeleton heads. Okay, a head harvester. Okay, that's not that difficult. Let's go into the caves. Here's a skeleton. Get out of here. I like how it decapitates them too and I'm literally killing them for their skull and pew and then i just need three creepers and that should be all of them oh my goodness with all the heads i have to create a head cut monster spawn egg what happens when i do spawn this thing oh my goodness what in the world is that thing ah jeez louise what where'd it go it didn't remove an immortal heart wait it gave me an asteroid shower wait what happens if i spawn this thing oh my goodness there's an asteroid shower coming right for me oh that just took out two immortal hearts Ouch! I only have two hearts to go! Immortal Ender Dragon damage? What? What does that mean? What in the world? Where am I? 
Huh? You thought you were going to be able to do this without getting through me first? Oh, brother. What is that supposed to mean? Despicable. Oh, my gosh. He turned into an immortal ender dragon. And wait, in the palms of his hands, he's carrying the final two immortal hearts that I need to lose. Okay, so I'm gonna have to kill this guy really quickly. Wait, but I'm immortal. It can't kill me. But if I can't die, I can just hit him forever. Wait, there's gotta be a way to kill him. I shall destroy all the crystals. I'm immortal, I cannot die. Got him! Let's go! He's done! I defeated the immortal being! Get out of here, Enderman. That was like the hardest challenge all game. But wait, I didn't lose the final two immortal hearts. Do I just go through the portal then? <gasps> yes! That's it! The final immortal hearts have been lost and... Samantha! Hello! I'm mortal again! Look at me! My skin! It's back to normal! Razor, I'm so happy you're back! Let's go out to dinner and live happily ever after! That would be wonderful! Thank you! And leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Let's try and go for 10,000 likes, right, Samantha? That's right! Now! Oh, you heard her.